Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I got a short one here for you, but I wanted to get it out there mostly because I've been talking about the Castles crafting events for months now. It feels like a month now. Um, so we finally are getting the first wonders, the first things that give you passive income. Um, so I'm super excited for this for today. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the requirements, show you how to do it, craft a few, we'll open a few packs uh, just to make sure that we open them correctly. Um, and then we will go ahead and uh, just give you a little bit more details around it. So the courthouse is available. Basically what you are doing is you are going ahead and helping the Baron create this courthouse and you're lending him fine wood, seals, lumber, so he can build it. And he's going to go ahead and give you back some uh, what's called Royal Courthouse Bounties. Those Royal Courthouse Bounties are going to go ahead and give you passive wax income every single month. And the way they give you passive wax income is through when any any time that someone buys uh, the seals here. Uh, let me actually just go... You click on this so anytime there's there's this sale happens uh 50 of it goes right to the courthouse and whoever owns the the courthouse bounties they're also talking about doing it with the heroes the standard heroes that are sold so there's a, there's a lot of different ways where you can go ahead and get those those bounties and the the passive income so it makes sense to go ahead and craft them how do you craft them let's go ahead and take a look at that quickly you go into castles, the main section, you click on event here, and then this is the, the normal screen. This similar, very similar screen that we've seen for the lumberjacks and the carpenters, and I'm assuming also the explorers guild that's gonna come. So what's it gonna cost in order to create one of these packs? You need 25 lumber, 70 fine wood, and eight seals. If you do the quick math, I have enough to go ahead and make two of them. So I'm super excited to do that. So what you're going to get when you craft one, you get two things. You get this pack. Inside the pack, there is one of two options. There is a low bounty and there is a high bounty. The low bounty gives you one share of the courthouse. The high bounty gives you two shares of the courthouse. And basically, there's 66% chance you'll get the low, 33% chance you'll get the high. So it's a, it's a good split and it's a good gamble. I, I like when the games do that. They give you the chance of getting something higher than what you initially thought. In addition to a bounty pack, what you're going to get is another raffle ticket. Just like we saw with the Lumberjacks and the Carpenters, there's going to be a number of rewards. If you go ahead and click on this on the bottom left, wait a second, they're going to show you all the different rewards that are going to be available. There's going to be bounties, high, low, there's going to be King's Vault, Barons and Castles, which everybody loves Barons and Castles. Um, and then a, a number of other lands throughout the here. So there's plenty of great prizes. They'll probably do it the exact same way they did before. Take all of them, take the, the top 1,000, basically take the list, randomize it, uh, remove anything under 1,000, and then send it through some crazy marbles race and the top 280 or whatever the number is, 300 and something. I, I, I'm not doing the math. You can do the math on your own. The top 300 plus. Uh, we'll get some sort of prize. You'll get the pack, and, and the pack is a certain percentage of of what reward you'll get there. So lots of cool things going on. I love how they add the two things here. Uh, again, the raffle rewards and also the chance of getting a, a high bounty, which is a double, double share. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now that we're on this, we're going to go ahead and craft two of them. We'll open the pack, see how I did, and show you just kind of where you can see what the numbers are going to be coming for you. All right, so let's craft. What I'm gonna do is just because, uh, we'll do two at a time, just because i save you all some time. So again, I'm gonna do two seals, two packs, hit craft, let it authenticate and wait for a bit. Oh, I got, looks like I have to do it twice. Um, and you see up here, I, I think you can see that. It says I crafted two. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go over to my nefty go to my packs and you're going to see a little hint here um, keep an eye out for 
my video on Friday. I have a major announcement and hint, hint, a lot of giveaways next week. Not just the packs you see here, but many other things. So keep an eye on my video all next Wednesday and keep an eye on my channel all next week because there's going to be a lot of giveaways. All right, see so here are the two packs that I got. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on them, open them, and cross your fingers that I get a high bounty. Knowing my luck today, I'm not really expecting it, but we'll go ahead and check it out. So high bounty, cross your fingers, and we got a standard. We got a low one, so we only got one share there. No luck. All right, let's go ahead and open one more. Again, cross your fingers. I would love to get a high bounty. It would help my day. And I got two low bounties. <laughs> Oh boy, every time I open packs on a stream, um, I, I don't do so well. <laughs> um, so that's what it is. I ended up getting two low bounties, so I got basically two shares, which, if you think of the grand scheme of things, uh, I was expecting only to get basically one share of bounties each. So uh, I got what I initially expected. Um, would have been nice to get the high bounty, though. <laughs> and I got the raffle tickets, and you can see from the raffle tickets this time, they are not tradable so that they did fix that this time this go around all right now that i have the bounty what do i do i sit there and i wait <laughs> they have this new page that's on uh on the the game it's the wonders page if you go ahead and click on that this will update um this is basically going to tell you tells you how many bounties you have so see i have two shares because i have two low bounties uh, it gives you quick links to uh, Atomic Cuddle if you want to buy any on the secondary market. And then eventually, once the development is done, it's going to show you the total pool, which is basically the total amount of wax that's earned this month uh, through those sales that I had mentioned. And then your potential earning as of this date. A couple things that you have to remember. This is an estimate as far as your potential earnings. Estimate's not finalized. In addition, you only get paid out once. So if for some reason you decide on May 30th of this month to sell your wonders, you will not get the commissions for those 30 days. Whoever owns the wonder, the bounty on the specific day that they do the snapshot, which is probably the 31st, uh, those are the people that are going to earn the passive income so you could have it for a day this month and have it during the snapshot or you could sell it 30 days into it and lose it so just keep that in mind there's one snapshot and then that'll give you basically uh your passive income each each month as far as the 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 wax goes you can also keep an eye on um the wallet that they're putting this into uh this is the wallet that all the commissions are going to they're basically taking half of it uh, keep in mind, this is from the beginning. This is not from just this month so far. So take a look at that. But if you scroll down here, you can take a look at the, the month. You can see this transaction right here. Someone just spent uh, basically a, a little over 1100 on wax buying royal seals. So that is a huge chunk. That And basically uh, 550, 575 of that, somewhere in that range, is going to go right to the royal seal seals bounty so that's that's where the commissions are coming from and you can take a look through here we got another big buyer right here uh, of seals um so they're gonna it's gonna add up Whew. got another one here um so it'll be very interesting to see uh what this number shows here when when this is available and again this is starting may 1st through may 31st and then they're gonna take a snapshot and do an airdrop of your wax so I highly recommend people go ahead and grab this. I'm actually curious to see what the prices are on, on these right now. It's for a low one. Uh, it's going for about 840. Um, I, I, I didn't do the math, but you could probably craft it cheaper than that right now. Um, and then let's just take a quick peek at the high bounty. And this is obviously at of, as of the time of the recording, uh, the high bounties are going for over 2000 wax right now. Uh, and I'm recording this about a, an hour and a half after this this launch. So, so the, I'm assuming that the prices are going to go down as more people craft. Um, I don't know why you would sell um, other than just trying to get a quick buck. But take a look at it. Uh, I, I, I I've been super excited about this. So 
uh, uh, that's why I wanted to get this video out here quick. Again, please check out my uh, video that I'm going to post on Friday, and then obviously my channel all next week because we, we're going to be doing a lot of a lot of giveaways, including uh, some of the packs that you just saw there. Uh, and I'm trying to there it is. Uh, plus, it's going to be a right now. You see here eight packs. I'm going to give away in one day. So, and a lot more giveaways. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, see how you can enter it and I'll talk to you all later. Have a fantastic day.